At a short distance from Ayus Andrea's village, on the way to Leonidio in the Peloponnese, you arrive at a beautiful settlement called Arcadian Village. The Arcadian Village was created as part of a major program of holiday villages set up in order to reconnect Greeks living in the United States and other parts of the world with their places of origin. Andonis Grafas and his diving team started searching the area in January 2017 to find the exact location of an underwater cave already known to the locals and some cave divers for many years. Using a drone and information from a local villager who is also a diver, the team eventually located a water flooded hole in the ground hidden in thick vegetation. Αντώνη, εγώ έρχομαι εδώ πέρα από παιδάκι, κάναμε το καλοκαίρι μπάνιο στις παραλίες από κάτω και το σπήλαιο θεωρεί ήταν δεδομένο για μας ότι υπάρχει και από τους παππούδες μας ξέραμε ότι υπάρχει αυτό το σπήλαιο. Βέβαια εμείς δεν το έχουμε βουτήξει ποτέ σαν κατάδυση. Ερχόμαστε, κάναμε βουτιές από εκεί πέρα μέσα, το νερό είναι αλμυρό γιατί έχει κρατάει ψάρια. Ακόμα και πριν 2-3 χρόνια υπήρχαν ψάρια μέσα, κέφαλους, δηλαδή έρχονταν ψαράδες και πιάνανε κέφαλους. In order to descend into the cave, it will be necessary to carry the equipment using climbing ropes because of a vertical drop of about 3 meters. What looks like a pothole is the starting point of a 21 meter vertical descent to reach the entrance to the cave itself. All of a sudden, the scenery changes completely. The cave is full of stalactites and stalagmites. A huge stalagmite stands out almost in the middle of the cave. It is breathtaking. Almost the whole cave ceiling is covered with different sizes of stalactites. This indicates that many thousand years ago this cave was dry, allowing water minerals to create those impressive structures that need thousands if not millions of years to form in such size. An average growth rate is 0.13 mm a year. The quickest growing stalactites are those formed by a constant supply of slow dripping water rich in calcium carbonate and carbon dioxide, which can grow at 3 mm per year. Stalactites and stalagmites are like time capsules for scientists, because they carry very important information about the climate variations of our fragile planet.
There is also a halocline layer in the cave, indicating that it is flooded with sea and fresh water as well. The distance of the seashore, after all, is less than 80 meters, but the temperature of the water in the cave gets below sea water levels, meaning that a stream of fresh water comes down from the mountains.